Hi everyone, Courtney here with a new recipe for you using these beautiful Perino tomatoes. From the 31st of January to the 27th of February, 2024, five cents from the sale of every 200 gram pack of red or medley Perino tomatoes sold at Coles will be donated to the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Foundation. And those donations are gonna go up to a massive $100,000 with your support. These tomatoes have a beautiful thin and crisp skin and a lovely sweet flesh. Of course, they're great just for snacking on. You can throw them into a salad, but I think they're really good on a pizza. So I'm gonna cook for you now my mini margarita pizzas. To prepare the pizza dough, take it out of the packet. Use a little flour to dust the outside of the pizza dough. And all I'm gonna do is cut the dough into three even pieces. Just roll each piece of dough into a ball and just use a little flour if it's a bit sticky. So we want six even balls of pizza dough. And all I'm going to do is dust my resting board with some semolina. This has a really nice rough texture and it gives a nice crisp base to the pizzas when they're in the oven. So what you'll need to do with each ball of dough, just pop on some olive oil and using clean hands, just roll the pizza into a ball and pop it on top of the semolina on the board. Okay, now all I'm going to do is find a nice warm spot in the kitchen and I'm gonna let the pizza dough rest for about 45 minutes to an hour. While the pizza's resting, we can make our fresh tomato sauce. So all I'm gonna do for this is slice up a couple of cloves of fresh garlic and into a small oven tray, I'm going to put my red Perino tomatoes in. In with the garlic that we've just sliced up. I'm gonna put some basil in, some really nice perfume. A little bit of olive oil to help the tomatoes and the garlic cook in the oven. And a pinch of sea salt. These are going into a 200 degree oven until the tomatoes are really nice and blistered and turned into a fresh tomato sauce. So the tomatoes have had eight to 10 minutes in the oven and they've got this beautiful wrinkly skin and the juices are starting to come out of the tomatoes, which is where all the flavor is. You could use this toss through some pasta or you could put it on some toasted sourdough, like a cooked bruschetta. But for our easy tomato sauce for the pizzas, all I'm gonna do is use the back of a spoon just to completely crush the tomatoes. And just to add some extra body into the tomato sauce, I'm popping in a spoonful of tomato paste and just mix that through. We can just set this aside. Now our dough has rested and become really nice and soft so we can prepare the pizza bases. So we've got the semolina on the bottom and I'll just sprinkle with a little extra flour on the top so my hands don't stick. And all you wanna do is just gently push out that dough, giving yourself a little bit of a border on the outside. And you wanna get it to around 10 or 12 centimeters in diameter. And I'm just going to repeat that with all six of our little discs of pizza dough. Now get yourself a lined large oven tray. And I'm just going to put some extra virgin olive oil onto the bottom. This is just going to encourage getting a really nice crispy base. And just over that oil, I'm going to put a little bit more semolina. Now this has a really lovely texture. And between the oil and the semolina, we're gonna get a really lovely crunch on the base of the pizzas. So take your pizza dough and just pop that over the top of the oil. Now take the prepared Perino tomato sauce and just pop a spoon of that onto each disc of pizza dough. Just use the back of the spoon just to spread that out. Now I'm gonna use half of our bocconcini cheese, just broken over that tomato sauce. This will melt and go really lovely and milky. It's got a really lovely mild flavor and it goes really well with our beautiful sweet garlic and basil Perino tomato sauce. Our pizzas are now ready to be cooked. I've turned the oven up to 240 degrees, so really nice and hot. We wanna get that pizza dough really nice and puffy and that cheese melted. These will take around maybe 12 to 14 minutes. While the pizzas are cooking in the oven, 
I'm going to take my punnet of medley Perino tomatoes. So these beautiful different coloured ones. We've got black and green and yellow and orange and red. And I'm just going to use a sharp knife just to cut them into some thin wheels. And we're going to have these raw on top of the pizza. So a bit like a bruschetta. Pizzas are smelling amazing. They cook really quickly. They've got a really crunchy base and that cheese has gone really nice and melty. So we can just finish off with our other toppings. I'll just show you that little bit of semolina and olive oil on the bottom gives us a really nice crunch. Makes all the difference. So now all we need to do is just to spoon over our sliced medley Perino tomatoes. I'm now going to break over our remaining soft bocconcini cheese. Season the tomatoes with just a little pinch of sea salt. Give them a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm going to place on some fresh basil leaves just over the top. And there we have it, a fun and colourful recipe, my mini margarita pizzas. Remember guys, get on into Coles, grab a few punnets of the Perino tomatoes between the 31st of Jan and the 27th of February, and you'll be supporting the amazing work that the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Foundation does with our Aussie school kids. Your donations might be helping to get new equipment, upgrade facilities, or even better, to start up some new kitchen gardens all around the country. Bon appetit.